We are here today to celebrate the resilience and our oneness of our human family. The oneness of our human family for each and every one of us to celebrate. Those organizations that also made this possible, the NAACP, Jonah, the Urban League, and a host of others need also to be celebrated for their courage and stamina as well. Now today, for this segment of the healing of racism, we would like to draw your attention to the oneness of humankind and celebrating that we are forever and ever and ever members of the same human family. Forever. Is that not true? I'm Sharon Davis from the National Resource Center for Racial Healing, and we also have a host of volunteers, some of whom just joined us today. And we would like to talk about that oneness never, ever means sameness. We are not all alike, and that's for a reason. We need each other. We've always needed each other in various parts and expressions of our humanity, what makes us human, the oneness of humankind. And we're delighted to have members of Omega Sci-Fi join us today on the stage to celebrate also the oneness of humankind. Today we're going to talk a lot about skin. Suppose for a moment when God created skin, he turned the skin side outside in. So when you talk to Mrs. Jones, your eyes meet over fat and bones and tissues blue, white, and red. Maybe they'd learn to read the heart instead of judging from a hue if one man's false and the other man's true. Thank you, Jim! And Sharon! Let's all join hands and feast our eyes on skin of every shape and size. Of every tone of gold or white, of luscious black, of dark or light, of every shade that folks come in, rejoice and celebrate the skin you're in. Take a look at the beautiful skin you're in. All shades and hues of skin that we're in, and it's for a purpose. So let us celebrate the skin, the skin that we're in. You know, this is also a very important day as it relates to family. Many years ago, families were torn apart as it relates to race and racism and enslavement. But today, we are here to celebrate and understand that not only are we family, but we need each other. In the oneness of humankind so that justice can soar to new heights and lasting peace prevails. Where there is oneness, there will be justice. Where there is justice, there will be peace. Thank you all from the National Resource Center for the Racial Healing, Sharon Davis. I also want to mention the others who you had not heard their names, who were so, so enthusiastic today from the Omega Sci-Fi fraternity. And they are uh, Khalid Lipsy. All right, Khalid, thank you so much. Malachi Wofford. Where is Brandon Brantley? <laughs> and how about Madison Freeman? Where's Madison? And also Gad Holland. Gad? Okay, one other thing about this family that's up here as part of your extended family. These young men are college men. Can I hear a round of applause for that? These young men are college men who have taken time out today from Kalamazoo, Michigan to come and celebrate Juneteenth and the oneness of humankind. Can we have another round of applause for the future?